Time now for the morning rush. Three men remain in federal custody this morning, all facing sex trafficking, drug and conspiracy charges following the raid of Best Choice Inn. And that's where investigators say the motel's owner and two others were operating a massive drug and sex trafficking ring. If convicted, the feds, feds rather could confiscate that inn. Kristen. Central and eastern New Mexico favored for those spotty to scattered storms today. Some of those storms on the severe side with the risk of large hail and damaging winds out east. We're going to continue to see that as those storms hang on tonight. And then tomorrow, another round of more widespread storms to close out the work week. David. This morning, a New Mexico lawmaker is speaking out about funding, about a funding bill rather, to help with migrants. The four and a half billion dollar bipartisan package would provide relief for local governments helping with asylum seekers. Congresswoman Sochitel Torres Small tells the New Mexican the House bill is not a long term solution. In the meantime, lawyers are calling for an inspection of 20 migrant facilities in Texas. This comes after advocates say they found kids while they're living in inhumane conditions at one Texas facility. They say the migrant children were sick without soap, clean water, and often without food. It'll now be up to a district court judge to decide if a woman officer's say caused a police shooting will stay in jail until trial. Daniel Franco was accused of leading officers on a chase near Loman, Lomas in Washington last month. Police say shots were fired after his passenger and niece, Cynthia Franco, turned towards the officers with a gun in hand. She was arrested yesterday. A northern New Mexico pastor is facing child abuse charges this morning. Police say 37-year-old Carlos Santiago Duran of Mountain View Fellowship in Las Vegas he is accused of hitting and pushing two children in his care at the church. One of the kids told police Duran picked him up, threw him down. He's now scheduled to court next month. This morning, morale could be going up for Santa Fe police officers as the same is happening to their paychecks. The approved raise will go into effect after probation. Officers will be, be paid on an hourly rate of $22 an hour for the first two years, and then the pay jumps to $30 an hour after five years. This is still less than the $29, hours a dollar, $29 an hour that's for incoming APD officers. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index at a six. We have the risk of some spotty to scattered storms here in the Metro today with lightning wind and some brief heavy rainfall at times. The winds will pick up regardless with the storms developing around us to the north and east. David. The city is still waiting for a final plan from the developers of a vacant retail space in Albuquerque. Developers unveiled their ideas for the old Kmart site at Carlisle and I-40 yesterday. Now they are proposing a grocery store, three national chains, and space for about six to eight smaller businesses. Neighbors are concerned over traffic and access to the site. Ten more Democratic presidential candidates will take to the debate stage tonight. This following last night's debate touching on issues like health care, immigration and Afghanistan. You can expect similar topics at tonight's debate, which will include front runners Bernie Sanders, Kamala Harris and former VP Joe Biden. Happening next month, the school board and Dexter is set to discuss a policy change that would allow schools to test kids for drug use if they participate in NMAA sports or activities. If passed, students will have to sign a form consenting to the testing of alcohol, tobacco and drugs. No word on when the board could vote. The community is coming together tonight for a memorial remembering the mother and daughter murdered in their Knob Hill home. Laura and Shanta Hanish were killed last week. Those who knew Laura say she and her daughter were known for always helping others. Now, the service from friends and Shanta's former teachers is taking place at 7 p.m. at Hyder Park. And New Mexico will be front and center this Christmas in the nation's capital with a tree from the Carson National Forest. The search is on for that tree this morning. Capital workers say that they are looking for a tree that can hold up thousands of handmade ornaments showcasing the state. To find out how to submit those New Mexico themed ornaments, you can head to alwaysonkrqe.com. This morning, the owner of a local downtown restaurant is on a mission to find the owner of a lost photo album. A customer found it in the parking lot of the Cheese and Coffee restaurant last week. The album is filled with baby pictures from the 80s of a little girl named Tess who died just shy of her second birthday. For more details, go to alwaysonkrqe.com. New Mexico United says they are already working on another flight package for fans to check out the U.S. Open Cup game in Minnesota. Now, the trip went on sale this week and sold out in minutes. It was the first one. And now the team was able to make this next trip possible with a donation to subsidize the trip's cost. And they say if they can get more donations like that, possible trips are uh, Future trips, rather, are possible. And back on the diamond tonight at 635, the Albuquerque Topes are looking for a win against the Tacoma Rainiers. The Topes are coming off a 9-8 to loss last night. It's game three of their four-game series tonight. Don't miss it. Kristen. Time now for a check on traffic. No major delays to tell you about or crashes at this hour. We've got a live look out at the big eye. Everything moving smoothly. We'll let you know if that changes. Some possibly good news for Breaking Bad fans this morning. 
Actors Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul shared the same photo of two donkeys on Twitter and Instagram, both with the same exact caption reading, soon. An already featured length Breaking Bad flick is in the works, but little is known about its plot or characters. Ooh, intriguing. Not we're taking you back 27 years ago on this day in 1992. We had an F1 tornado touchdown near San Juan, and it actually overturned two semi trucks. We had roads, road signs uprooted and vehicle windows blown out. So that was on this day 27 years ago. We take you now to the five facts. At number five, the hunt is on this morning for the perfect Christmas tree in the Carson National Forest. The Forest Service picked New Mexico to find a Christmas tree grand enough for the West Lawn in Washington, D.C. Capital workers say that they're looking for a tree that stands out and can hold up thousands of handmade ornaments showcasing the state. For information on how to submit New Mexico themed ornaments, you can head to always on KRQE.com. On to number four now. A memorial is scheduled for this evening in honor of the mother and daughter murdered in their Knob Hill home. Laura and Shanta Hanish were killed last week. Those who knew Laura, a longtime employee with the Public Defender's Office, say that she and her daughter were known for always helping others. The service, sponsored by friends and Shanta's former teachers at Amy Beale High School, set to take place tonight at 7 p.m. at Hyder Park. At number three, scattered storms over central and eastern New Mexico today. Some of those storms could be severe in the plains. Temperatures pretty warm in the 90s. We have more of those storms expected Friday and into this weekend. Looks like western New Mexico will get in on the storm action both Saturday and Sunday. Number two now, the woman officers say caused a police shooting is in jail this morning. Now it's up to a district judge whether she'll stay there until trial. Daniel Franco is accused of leaning officers on a chase near Lomas in Washington last month. Police say shots were fired after his passenger and niece, Cynthia Franco, turned towards the officer with a gun in hand. She was arrested yesterday. And at number one, new details this morning from an almost year-long investigation into a local hotel dubbed as a one-stop shop for sex and drug trafficking. Now three men remain in federal custody, all facing sex trafficking, drug, and conspiracy charges. Federal officials say that they learned that the owner and two employees at the Best Choice Inn in Southeast Albuquerque were operating an elaborate uh, drug and sex trafficking ring. Agents say they found 16 human trafficking survivors and massive amounts of heroin, meth, cocaine, and pills. Officials say APD was well aware of the problem, having been called there almost 300 times in the last few years. We'll see you